Hey guys, what is up? Schlappy here, playing some more Creativus on the Project Shigalati Creativus server, and it is an exciting episode. Do you guys know why? It is episode 66, which, if you guys don't know much about me, my favorite hockey team for, well, as long as I can remember ever having a favorite, has been the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, I absolutely loved Penguins as a kid, so it seemed like an obvious fit. They're the coolest animal in the world. This year, they happen to be the best hockey team in the world. It all works out. And number 66 on the Pittsburgh Penguins, now owner and best player in history, Mario Lemieux. So it's just a special day. And I thought, how do we celebrate episode 66? And then it seemed obvious. We build a hockey rink. I mean, come on. This place needs one. It's the perfect time. I'm pumped up for it. Now, I will say, it's not going to be that nice of a hockey rink. Maybe someday we'll build, like, a stadium to play on the server. But for now, it's just going to be sort of an outdoor pond. You know, where everyone... Well, I was about to say where everyone starts playing hockey. Maybe that's that's not much true anymore. You know what? I recently learned uh, it's illegal. Uh, they put a sign on my street that you're not allowed to play street hockey. It is such a street that nobody ever drives down... It's like there's one way in, one way out. You can always see cars, not that there is ever any. It's the, it's the most perfect street for street hockey, and they put a sign up saying you're not allowed to play it. Just unbelievable. Anywho, um, so yeah, the Christmas Wonderland shall continue with some good old-fashioned pond hockey. The only question is where I want to put it. Originally, I was thinking back there, but then uh, that's clearing out a lot of trees and whatnot. But that might be kind of cool. Sorry, I had to sneeze, so I had to cut the audio uh, and the video. I just, I had to sneeze. Um, so there's a lot to think about. And I know I always start these and I'm like talking about how to plan it out. But really, when you're building something like this, the planning is so important. Anywho, um, building the hockey rink back that way would be cool because you'd be underneath the trees. But that would require clearing a lot of trees. And then you'd have these half-done leaves over the top. Like, let's just take a run back there. And that's, like, the one thing I hate is, like, I don't know if I can do all the leaves. You know what I mean? If we go back here. <sighs> See, like, this clearing would be cool, except, well, it could just be a smaller hockey rink. We could do a smaller hockey rink, although then we'd have this very steep edge. This direction, I don't... We'll put something else back here. Maybe, you know what would be cool? Um... If you guys have ever been into very snowy towns in, like, northern Canada, something you'll see a lot is they'll have these giant forests of, um, I guess, pine trees. And uh, they'll have strings attaching all of them, and it's where we get maple syrup from. So, like, the maple syrup will come out of these little taps and run down these lines. Maybe we can make a maple syrup sort of farm back here. I don't know what we'd use to attach the trees to each other. They have these blue lines, or whatever color you want they have these lines attaching the trees that could be cool anyway maybe we'll do some sort of maple syrup thing back here uh but the hockey rink i'm thinking we're gonna put up here this is where i think makes the most sense for it because um well it's flat uh it'll be a point where we could put it like right here at this level like this will be where the ice is this level here and you'll be able to see it from the village so i think it'll just be cool it'll fit in this is where we're going to build it. I'm going to go get some ice and whatnot till we need that we'd build it. And um, it should be a pretty fast thing to build so we can get on some. I think there's um, a few cool blocks here. Well, for one, this is what the ice looks like. It's not the greatest of colors or textures. I'll use the blue, though. I think it'll be a nice contrast. I also think maybe we'll throw in some ice in other places just to have another color in here. And I think the light blue goes nicely with the snow. Um, you know, in, in like small quantities i think it would be quite nice but this is where we're gonna put it up here so we'll have a path sort of deviating so this block this is the snow cap this is uh, the dirt with the snow on top it's underneath like this snow uh which is kind of a nice block i'm not 100 percent sure i like that texture but uh again it's another block we can throw in to sort of because you know it's very um snow heavy here so we can throw in other blocks to sort of break that up sort of you know if you have one of you know, one block so much, it kind of becomes this monotonous, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Um, so we're going to do it over here. It's going to be at this level, I think. So, like, the ice will be here. I think. We could lower it down one, but that just requires a slight more digging. 
Um, and then we're going to have boards because any good rink has boards. That's not true. I've played on plenty of rinks that don't have boards. But, um, yeah, it'll be kind of cool. I also want to put sort of like a shack up here because, you know, you need a shack to change into your skates. And, you know, just, just a place to hide from the wind if it gets too cold. You know, just a little wooden piece of crap. Also, are they going to put out a Christmas update? Because, like, that'd be cool. Holiday, they'd probably call it for PC. So, uh, you know, they tweeted out that thing, but it's like, it's already the 15th when I'm recording this and it'll come out. It's already the 15th. It seems a bit late for holiday blocks unless they plan to leave them for a while. You know, like, I want this place done by Christmas. Come on, give me those holiday blocks. Um, anyway, this is where the rink's going to be. Thought I'd share that with you guys. we got a few more blocks to play with. I'm not sure what the pathway up here is going to be. The idea of just dirt is kind of cool. Like a dirt pathway. But uh, we'll probably mix in this stone because that's what we went with. Um, and it has to go sort of up here. I kind of want a cool pathway. Anyway, I think I'll build the rink first and then we'll worry about getting here and the boards and stuff. So, here's a nice ice patch. There is all of the ice. There's all the ice, and I think it looks, um, okay. It looks okay. I think it's all right. Um, I think putting boards and stuff around it will make it significantly better. I'm also thinking I might want to widen it out just a touch. Uh, maybe just two blocks this way. Make it a little bit bigger, um, just because we can, more or less. Just because we can, uh... But yeah, I think we need to build up around it. Because right now it's just sort of a plain blue area. <laughs> it's just a plain blue area. And that's uh, not great. Here, let's see. A little bit wider. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So we'll put some boards around it. Um, I'm thinking just some plain wood slabs. Because boards, if you've never seen the boards are what go around a hockey rink. Um, for you non-hockey people. Um... I'm thinking just like that, because usually they're like a thin... Yeah, usually they look like that, especially the outdoor rinks. They're usually just like wooden planks that you put across. Uh, they keep the puck in. You can smash people against them. We could go fancier and put like adobe or something. But honestly, you know, these outdoor rinks, they tend to be wood. So I don't really want to go too far off the uh, off the rails. The other thing we could do is use whole blocks. I'm not sure what blocks we could use. Um, let's see, we got wood floor. We got crazy woods. I think we could use wood floors. Um, now where are they? Wood walls, wood floors, okay. So we could use these uh, as boards. And I actually like their texture more. But I don't know if I like the whole blocks. I think from the inside it looks better. Maybe we'll try that. Maybe we'll use this just so we have some differentiation. Differentiation. Yeah, I like the texture of these more. They look much more like completely plain wood. Like just like wood you'd buy to throw up because it's cheap. As opposed to the other ones. You know what? I like the texture of these a lot. What does the wood wall look like? Yeah, the wood wall is the same as... Yeah, so I like this texture. I wish it was a half slab, but that's beside the point. I'm going to die. Uh, give me just a second. I'll put up the walls and um, not die here. I have to run back to this fireplace every time. Maybe I'll just put fireplaces everywhere. It's become a weird routine to come stand on this. And I uh, can't say I think it's a particularly good routine. Still not sure about the pathway up here. But uh, if we get up here, you can see the boards are on, which is cool. It looks like a rank. Um... It's all right. We need, like, a net. We need a net down here. Um, what could we use as a net? Maybe the red adobe? Uh, maybe, like, iron bars? I don't really know. Maybe... Oh, we have this on us. We have this on us. Could fashion up some kind of... Could fashion up some kind of... That's awful. That looks like a medieval... No. I don't know. We're going to need a net at some point. Not a big deal. Uh, this is where we're going to put the little hut. It's going to be very tiny. Going to be very small indeed. You know what? We're actually going to bring it in one. Uh, all I want is like a small area. We're going to put like a fireplace in the end and then some seating. And that's it. That's all that's in there. So uh, a little bit more work. I'll be back. 
Well, we uh, have a structure up, and it's not uh, particularly pretty. It's not particularly pretty, but uh, it uh, it's it it's there, I guess. Is uh, one way to put it inside. Very tight. We got places to put on your skates. We got a little fire going. I think it's perfect. I've also been experimenting with... Oh, slide, slide, slide. I've also been experimenting with just leaving some of these in. So we might do this as a pathway. Um, you know, just kind of have like a rough path going up. Um, we might need one more block to put in though. But yeah, so... Or maybe just a bit more definition as opposed to like the randomness. Like, you know, we could do... And, you know, something like this and then have sort of a pathway. But anyway, I think it's um, pretty good. I'm not entirely happy with it. I think we need a few more things to kind of fill it out. Um, maybe like some candy canes for lighting up here. I think that could be kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely like we need a few more, few more tweaks around here, I think. Just to kind of fill out this area. It feels very plain. You know, you come up and it's like, oh, okay, here's stuff. But we also need color. We need color up here. Because right now it's so plain. That's why I was thinking candy canes because you get the red in. It's so plain up here. It's wood. It's this. It's that. We need color. We need color. We need light. Candy canes give us both. Um, somebody suggested... Um, it was a pretty good suggestion. Somebody suggested using the red adobe wall and making them stairs. And I tried it. I'm not going to go through... Like, I tried it when I was designing them a little bit. Uh, well, actually, after I, I read the comments and I kind of, like, looked at it and I tried it. It doesn't look quite as good. I don't like the red adobe wall as much as the red concrete. And it, it just uh, it didn't quite work with the stairs. It made it feel kind of awkward. But anyway, yeah, we're going to put candy canes up here. I think candy canes are going to be kind of our, our thing across the board. I'm not sure how to do the lighting, though, because the lighting is actually underneath the path. So... I'll get some candy canes up and we'll see how it goes. Think I solved my light problem. Uh, I think I solved it. I like this a lot actually, just two pulse and light. I think it actually kind of gives a cool vibe. Got the candy canes all over the place. It kind of links the whole area together, really. I have a fallen candy cane up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, for some reason I was just like, ah, another one? Nah, let's make it on its side. I don't know why, it's kind of sad. But uh, I want to put a few more of these lights. I ran out of the fence. I actually didn't even check to see if I could make it. No, I think I... Oh, it's just the wood slabs. That's easy enough. But yeah, I think it actually gives a cool vibe. I'm thinking if I put them just around, you know, a couple up there. Just sort of have the whole area kind of lit by it. And then we got to finish up this pathway. My biggest issue right now is I'm not sure what I want these, like, stairs up to be. I'm thinking I might just go with the stone slabs again. Uh, just to kind of give it sort of a, a linked-in feeling. But yeah, I think it's really cool, actually. I'm liking these red lights everywhere. Anywho, I gotta warm up. I gotta make some more wood slabs, I guess. And, um... Well, um... This is okay. This is okay, except... I don't know if I like this. I might try the Adobe. Uh, the Adobe, we might give a whirl... Do I like that more than the stone? I am not sure. I was thinking about making it like a straight pathway, but I figured I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more organic going up the hill. Um, yeah, I'm kind of like, do I like the adobe more? Yes-ish. Let's go with yes, I think. Might even be worthwhile to throw in like some of the red adobe in there. But I think it's okay. Um, there's also going to be like a building here, which I think will make this a little bit better. But let's wander up, see what it's like. It's uh, pretty good, I think. I like this area now. Look how, like, it's kind of, like, full. It's kind of full. We need, I think, something else. Maybe, like, a tree over there, maybe, is what I'm, like, searching for. Maybe that's, maybe that's what it is. Maybe, like, a tree back there would, like, kind of fill it out. That way is, like, an open area, but, like, a tree right there might fill this area completely out. Also, um, there's probably going to be something in here. I want it to be like that. Maybe just like some windows would be cool. Maybe just some windows. Uh, let's search. Some good old-fashioned wood windows. Let's craft as many as we can. Good old-fashioned wood windows in our little skate shack. How does that happen? 
Yeah, I think that's all right. I'm not uh, overly concerned about that. We're going to make this that block to make it look like it was boarded up. I'm not too worried about the symmetry in here. Anywho, I think this works out pretty well, but I do think a tree right there would be good. So I'm going to grab a sapling. We'll plant one there. It's probably not going to grow by the time I'm done. But uh, I think this area is pretty good. I like it a lot, actually. Let's take, let's grab that screenshot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right like this. Now, there are a few things I think could be better. For one, I'm not a huge fan of this board texture. I like the texture, but I think it's a bit plain. Maybe we should add in a few more blocks along the boards. The structure, I think, is uh, completely fine. I kind of wanted, like, a nondescript thing. I do think there needs to be another point of interest up here, some sort of color or something up here that just sort of takes away from what's otherwise kind of monotonous. Maybe even just, like, something like this. Yeah, actually, that kind of works. That's too many. Maybe just some, like, blue in the ground occasionally. You know what? I like that a lot, actually. You know what, maybe they like spilled some water while they were making the rink. Well, it's a pond. Maybe there's just some water occasionally uh, in different areas. Yeah, okay, I actually like that. I think it brings everything kind of together. It looks, it's a little bit bright, but I think that kind of works in its favor in this area. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, let's put two here. Ooh, I like that, actually. Um, you know what? This is too much. This is too much. You know, I think it's definitely something that can be overdone a little bit too extreme. But yeah, okay, let's get a tree there. I'm going to go grab a sapling. We'll see if we can't get something. But I like this area. I think it looks pretty good. The pathway, I think, is decent with the adobe. Like, once there's a building right here or something else, I think it'll look a lot more natural. All right, so I'll be back uh, in just a second. We'll plant a tree, see if it looks all right. Um, well, it probably won't grow anytime soon, but isn't this cozy? Like this wood shack, I'm like, yeah. If we shut the door, we have to stare in a very awkwardly specific spot. Yeah, I think this is lovely. Well, the sapling is down. We can see it right there. So a tree will grow right there. This will be open. Um, I think that'll be kind of cool if it, if it, I mean, I'll see once this tree grows, I kind of wanted it to be like open on this side, but if it looks too kind of weird, I'll just plant some more saplings over that way. But for now, we're going to call this area done. I, I, I was sitting here thinking about what else I could add to it. And I just really don't know. I think it's pretty good. Like, I don't think it needs more. Um, obviously nets and stuff. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know for like this area specifically up here next to the hockey rink or skating rink if you're not going to play hockey. Uh, let me know because I'm, I'm curious if there's anything that I couldn't think of that would fit nicely up here. But I think it's like pretty full area. Um, anyway, I kind of like this pathway. I kind of like this stairway up. Next time we're going to focus more on this area. Uh... So now we got the skating rink. We got sort of one piece of the puzzle in. So um, we're just going to continue working on this area next time. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment if you have any suggestions for what to build in this area or next to the hockey rink. Um, and subscribe for more Creativerse. Our winter wonderland is one step closer to being a magical place. Um, most of the stuff we build will be closer to this area. I just wanted the hockey rink a little bit up and away. But I think it's going to be pretty cool. Come back next time and we'll continue to work. Ciao.